PG2, it's me, Miss Pam, and I'm sending you a video recording from my house. And you're probably watching this video recording in your house. And until we go back to school, I'm going to try to send lots of videos to you to help you with your learning from home. So today our lesson has to do with counting. Hopefully, you just practice counting all the way to 100. And if you did, great job. You're all smart kids. Today, I'm going to show you how to count a lot of things. More than 10. And so, I needed to find something around my house for you to help me count. So, I looked around and I found a lot of things that I can count. I found a bunch of blocks that belong to my daughter, Binti. I could count those. I looked in the kitchen and I found a lot of beans. There's a lot here and I could count those. And then I looked over and I found these noodles and they're really big and really cool. See that shape? It's got a circle on one side and a circle on the other. It's kind of like a tube. That's called a cylinder. So I found all of these cylinder pasta noodles and I thought these would be really fun to count and I have a lot of them so that's what I took out of the kitchen today to help me with my counting so let me get a lot of those and I'm going to move the camera so you can see my counting and you can help me do it too are you ready okay here we go let's move this down to about there I think that that works just fine. So you see I have a lot of noodles here. If I want, I could take some away or add some more. And you can do the same when you're counting in your house. All right, so if I just get started here, let's see. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I'm having a hard time here, KG. I don't know which noodles. I already counted which ones I haven't counted yet because what I have is a big, messy pile. When you're trying to count things, a big, messy pile, it's not easy. So what I need to do is organize my noodles a little bit better. And I can put them into rows or groups. Do you know how many noodles I have here? One, two, three, four, five. Five noodles, just like I have five fingers on this hand. Now I can do five more. One, two, three, four, Five. I bet you remember what five and five is. Five and five is ten. That's right. So right here I have ten noodles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three. Whoops. Fix that. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Now that my noodles are organized, it should be a lot easier for me to help. Would you help me count them? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Let's write that down. I have a notebook right here where I can practice writing the number 38. I'm going to start at the top and write the 3, 
38. Now I need to write an 8. I can start at the top. There we go. So I think I have 38. And I can double check my work and be sure by looking at the noodles again. Remember that I have groups of 10. One group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10. I have three tens. Let's write that number three again. And how many more? Remember, this is not a group of 10. I don't have five and five. I have five and three more. Do you know how many that is? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I have three groups of 10 and eight more. I have three groups of 10 and eight more. Well, look at that. 38, 38. I got the right number. All right, I'm going to put my notebook away. And a marker. And I'm going to move the camera back up so that you can see my face again. KT2, thanks for helping me count today. Now I want you to take a look around your house. What do you have a lot of in your house? It might be blocks, it might be noodles, or anything else you want to count. I want you to get them all together. Don't let your pile be messy, messy, messy. Organize your things nice and neat so that you can count them, hopefully in groups of 10, and you can write down a number either in a notebook or on a piece of paper of how many that you have. All right, have fun counting today, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.